Hey everyone, John Chow, HeavensJohnChow.com. I'm here with Sally, and we're here at the San Clemente outlet for, well, charging a Tesla, walking the dog, and checking out cars and coffee. Come on, let's go. It's very hot today. White guy with an umbrella. <laughs> Once again, Sally is uh, taking photos of the cars for her Instagram account. So if you want to see her photos, check her out at Sally Chow 18. Man, look at the whale tail on this Nissan. <laughs> that's, uh, that's pretty big, pretty big. Uh, other than the big wing, the car looks very good. And there's the organizer of cars and coffee doing his uh, weekly round, kind of like what I do. You could, uh, I'll link to his, uh, his YouTube channel so you can check it out. Normally the, uh, the Tesla are at the charging station, but a couple of them here are on display at Cars and Coffee. A uh, Model X 100D and a Model 3, Performance Edition. Corvette dog meet widget. <laughs> Uh, here's, this is new, uh, a food truck taking advantage of Cars and Coffee crowd. Sally, punch buggy. He said Cars and Coffee doesn't count. Oh uh, yeah, we did say that. Uh, because of the number of punch buggies at Cars and Coffee, uh, we have a new rule. If you see one at Cars and Coffee, you can't punch anyone. Widget, you're gonna die! Widget, you're gonna get ran over. Come on, come on. Dog day afternoon is what it is. <laughs> this is the AMG four-door coupe. <laughs> yes, it's a coupe, even though it has four doors. Fisker comma. This is what the Tesla would have looked like had Henry Fisker didn't try to screw out Elon Musk and left the company and took the design with him. We're just getting really friendly with the dogs. <laughs> Sally, you think that thing has enough lights on the roof? <laughs> it could probably light up uh, the desert. <laughs> oh, check this out. It's a noble British uh, British car. Uh, a lot of people mistake it for a kit car, but it's actually not. It's, noble is a manufacturer. And uh, I believe this one probably has around 400 horsepower in it. And you can see the engine. It's a... Uh... <laughs> what? <laughs> it's ugly. <laughs> it's ugly? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, that engine looks overly complex. <laughs> the tire looks nice. Mm -hmm. Now this is cool, Sally. This is not ugly. Look at that. This is classic American muscle right there. Big V8, big air cleaner, big carburetor. 3 on the tree. <laughs> nice. Let's look at the back here. Oh yeah, that's right. Just put the speakers right here. Movable too. Yeah, I'm sure when you're uh, bumping around, it won't move anywhere. <laughs> that is pretty awesome. It's got the awning out. This is good for a family day event. And there you go. Sally is taking pictures for Instagram. So you, I expect to see that. It is a 2018 Ford F550 Expedition vehicle. So, look at that. Nice stair to get up there. Surfboard. Mountain bikes. Yeah, it's definitely the Oscars offshore excursion van. Toilet, shower's probably in there. I see the sleeper up there, yeah. And look at the side of those tires, wow. <laughs> you can put widget in there. You can put widget in there, exactly. And look, here's the. There you go. $165,000. Wow, that, that's a. That's a, quite the vehicle. Mustang owner taking advantage of the crowd that comes to cars and coffee to try to sell his car. So this Mustang GT is for sale. 
Yeah. How much does he want for it? Let's see. This is a 2010. 2010 Mustang GT, 54,000 miles on it. It says $18,900 or any reasonable offer. Offer. All right, so less than 19 grand, you can have this nice, stunning Mustang GT. What do you think, Sally? Yeah, Mustang, huh? All right, well, so I don't care much for Mustang. But instead of a Mustang, Sally, how about get a horse? This is a Ferrari. Is that better? What's wrong with the lights? Nothing's wrong with the lights. You're too obsessed with lights. Sally's taking a picture of a pair of low riders. Cool. This is classic low rider. There's a Lincoln. Is this a Monte Carlo? This is a Monte Carlo. Oh my God. Check it out. Yeah. There you go. Have a look at the low riding suspension. Using hydraulics to lift the car up or drop it down. Customized interior, at least not using all that velour that they used to. Of course, you got to use the uh, the pinstripe on the on the paint job. And this Lincoln here, kind of the fuzzy dice. As you can see, the switches right there. Those are the switches to activate the hydraulics to raise it up and down and make it bounce and stuff like that. And here's a look at the hydraulics. All the uh, big batteries it takes to power it. So he's got. <laughs> Five deep cycle marine batteries. And this one looks like, yeah, this one did a better job. And you've, now some of the low riders, they used to put things at the bottom of the base uh, that make sparks come out when it touches the ground when it's scraping. So that's totally illegal, of course, but you know, that never stopped these guys. <laughs> so the name of this low rider is the Bloody Mary. Not one Lincoln. Not two Lincoln, but three Lincoln Vintage Continentals convertibles, all in one place. Where else but cars and coffee? Can you see that? <laughs> More doggy love. <laughs> More doggy love. Using umbrellas on sunny days is something I see a lot in Asia, but I usually don't expect white people doing it. This is uh, America's version of the Scooby-Doo van. This is the Ford <laughs> club wagon. Oh, look at that. There's the engine right between the driver and passenger. Uh -huh. And it, there's your AC or natural air conditioning, we call it. <laughs> Three on the tree, cup holders. Like the back massager right there. So let's check out the, the, the inside of the back. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Dinner style facing seats, quite nice. And you still got storage room in the back and some sound like speakers in the corner. That is cool. Now here's a rare sight. This is a Callaway Corvette. It's a Corvette Grand Sport with a Callaway motor. That's right. And it's, uh, it's quite rare. Like I said, uh, Callaway in the back. Callaway is the only, uh, I guess, uh, GM authorized and recognized Corvette tuner. They actually work with the factory, unlike a lot of other tuners that have no factory affiliation. Oxygen supercharger, MSC ignition, Holly carburetor, classic American muscle. It's a Hellcat. Yeah, Hellcat. The engine is so big. Yeah, the engine sticks out of the hood and requires a bump in the hood so see it requires a raised bump otherwise it will not clear this engine this crazy supercharged hemi man you idiot hey look sally another performance model three and i think they're just leaving where'd you get out of the way of the car <laughs> check out this speedster this is a porsche speedster an original wow I mean, even the original hubcaps. No, the original hubcaps missing. The original wheels. <laughs> My God, those seats don't look comfortable at all. I mean, your head can be resting. I don't know, some way there, and 
there's absolutely no luxury amenities of, to speak of, no windows, no windows, no, oh. and What's that thing? yeah, oh, and but back then, Porsche, you fill, you fill up the gas tank in the middle of the car, so, you know, good luck not spilling the fuel, you know, that kind of stuff, but it wasn't practical, it was never meant to be, but it looks cool. And if one speedster is not enough, how about two? Yes, it's true. Cars and coffee. Where else can you find two original vintage Porsche Speedster? Run one here and the other one there. And also this thing. This is the coolest thing ever. It's like the world's smallest minivan. It's like a micro van. Yeah. So it's demonstrating how to get inside. How do you get in this thing? <laughs> she's oh, she's gonna try. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, you check it out. Are you kidnapping me? Scooch, scooch that way a little bit. Okay. Now put both arms up to the side. Oh, look, you almost reached the other side. You, like for me, I get both of them out. It's like a cockpit. Yeah, it's really small. <laughs> that, 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 that is the definition of not small, that's the definition of tiny. It's like a guinea pig. It's like a guinea pig, it's so small. Sally, you want me to put our guinea pigs in there? And I, I just noticed when she got up, the car raised up an inch. <laughs> wow. So since it's six passengers, oh, it's can fold that. flat. And if you wanted to just put up the middle seat and not the back, you just lift up. Oh, wow. So now you got storage. So you, you it's just... It's a good mover, isn't it? Yeah. It's just six people. Yeah. That's incredible. How many miles a gallon? Um, 35. 35 miles a gallon, too. Wow. Oh. <laughs> wow. Well, look at what the hell it is. Hey, yeah. Are. Oh, my gosh. Well, thank you yeah. for showing us this. It's very cool. Very cool. I'm Lindsay. Uh, it's cool. It's a cool car, I have to admit. <laughs> It looks the same going forward or backward. It does look like it goes backward. You got enough headroom there? Do you have any headroom? I, I am really tall. I'm Most of my friends that are over 6'5 uh -huh. are shorter than me from my butt to my head. Oh, wow. And you're, you're definitely touching the roof. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I wow. slouch. Yeah. <laughs> well, have fun. It's kind of hard to get in the car. There's another example right there. Pop the roof off and then get in. <laughs> then pop the roof back on. <laughs> we are now at Supercar Row. So starting with a Ferrari in red, of course. The F430 next to a Porsche GT3. Which one you like better, side Ferrari or Porsche? Of course, the Ferrari, naturally. Who would not choose the Ferrari over the Porsche, right? Yeah, who would choose a Porsche? <laughs> How about it? There's a McLaren 720S. I saw this one looks like someone took a spoon and gorged its eyes out. Yeah, so this is my favorite supercar. Like if it, if I were not getting a Tesla Roadster, this is what I would get. Yeah, this is what I would get. Another Porsche GT3, McLaren 650 Spider, next to a Ferrari 450 Italia. And oh, check this, a vintage BMW. Wow, nice. Vintage BMW next to Magnum PI's Ferrari. The 2005 Ford GT, Lamborghini Huracan Perf Performante. The one that held the Nürburgring record for a while. And there it is, the newest Lamborghini, the SUV. The SUV that thinks it's a supercar. Uh, SUV Lamborghini. See you guys. Luxurious, uh, yeah, 600 horsepower. Lamborghini claim is the world's fastest SUV, and it is in terms of top speed and in terms of acceleration. My Tesla is faster. That's good, but uh, this thing can go what 187, 190 miles an hour, and for an SUV with, with the aerodynamics of a brick, that that's quite impressive. <laughs>
And always at Cars and Coffee, the two Cromero. This one belongs to the organizer of Cars and Coffee. His uh, engine is supercharged with a Whipple charger. It makes 798 horsepower at the wheel, which means it's more powerful than that Lamborghini SUV. Okay, that's it for this episode. We hope you enjoy the cars and the show. Uh, cars and Coffee happens every Saturday from 9 to 11 here at the uh, San Clemente Outlet in South Orange County. If you're in the area, do check it out. It's a lot of fun. It is family friendly and dog friendly as well. All right, so Sally and I, we're gonna go get a, a pretzel from Auntie, uh, Annie. Auntie Annie, and then we're gonna go home, relax a bit, and then go to Dotcom Lunch. So see you guys next time.